Hello everyone! My name is Asel Ali C. Elliot from Grade 2 St. Augustine. Today, I'll be sharing to you what to do so that we should be safe always during natural calamities. Alam nyo ba na ang Pilipinas ay may dalawang uri ng panahon? Ito ay ang tag-init at tag-ulan. Tuwing tag-init, natutuyo ang mga bundok na nasa gilid ng kalsada at posibleng magkakaroon ng mga bitak ang mga ito. Tuwing tag-ulan naman, makararanas tayo ng paguho ng lupa at matatapunan ang mga kalsada at mga bahay. Dapat lagi tayong handa at alerto. Ano ba ang mga katangian ng mga Pilipino na dapat ipagmalaki lalo na sa panahon ng kagipitan at kalamidad? Una, pagtitiwala sa Panginoon. Naniniwala tayo na may isang Panginoon na tumapatupay sa lahat ng ating gawain at tumutulong lalo na sa oras ng kagipitan. Pangalawa, pagtutulungan sa panahon ng kalamidad, nagtutulungan ang mga magkakapitbahay upang mag-isaayos ang mga nasirang bahay at upang magiging magaan at mapadali ang pagsasaayos ng kanilang komunidad. Pangatlo, mabuting patanggap at nakikip tumo. Sa panahon ng kalamidad, nagbibigay sila ng pinakamasarap na pagkain na kanilang makakaya at pagkan, paghahanda, paayos na tulungan para sa mga taong nasa lata. Pang-apat, pagsama-sama ng pamilya sa panahon ng kalamidad, pinatitira at inaalagaan ang kanilang mga kamag-anak na nawala ng bahay at hanap buhay. Lalo na ang mga magtanda. Panglima, pagiging disiplinado. Mahalaga ang mga pagiging disiplinado dahil ito ang magiging daan upang mailigtas ang mga buhay natin o buhay ng ibang tao. In those times of calamities, we need to help people like by giving donations. For example, 987 canned goods, 1,530 sachets of Shampoo, 880 sticks of coffee, 855 bottles of drinking water, and 550 kilograms of sugar. During those times of calamities, we need people around us so that we will be safe. I have here a sample picture of a mother. A mother is the one who packed or prepared everything we need. A mother is an example of a feminine noun. Another example is a picture of a father. A father is the one who protects us. A father is an example of a masculine noun. I have here an example picture of Red Cross. Red Cross is the one who helped us during calamities. So Red Cross is an example of a common noun. I have here an example picture of a flashlight. A flashlight is used to light our path, especially during calamities. So flashlight is an example of a new term. During those times of calamities, we should be alert. We need to do some rhythmic movements for us to be able to move and transfer to a safer place. First, running. We need to run to avoid the falling objects. Second, jumping. We are going to jump so that 
We can easily transfer from one place to another. Third, climbing. We can climb to a higher place to keep dry from flood. Fourth, walking. We can walk and go to a safer place. Fifth, hopping. We are going to hop to avoid sharp debris and uneven grounds. We also need to use our eyes and ears properly, especially those times of calamities. We need to be observant. We use our eyes to see things around us so that we are aware of what is going on. Watch recent updates in television of forthcoming disaster like typhoon. Also, we use our ears to listen to the radio for information on where the flooding is happening. Listen to a local TV or radio station to stay informed and be prepared to evacuate further. Contact your local officials and find out how you should get out of your area if you need to. That's all I can share for now. I hope this could be of big help. Thank you and stay safe.